determination as you were coming around that corner on the first approach to the steeple. Can you uh, describe what you were thinking as you were getting to that first water pit? I, uh, you know, just wanted to be smooth and clean, and uh, you know, I operate well when I get there kind of first and have a clear look at the barrier and. Uh, I'm just more efficient, so I had no problem really running up front on feeling like today. Uh, I could just control the race and control the effort and, you know, make it clean. Yeah. How will your strategy change for Friday? Uh, yeah, I mean, I like to run fast. I think it's been the right race, the right conditions, which Friday seems to be, like, perfect. Um, yeah, I like to rip one. And we'll see where that kind of puts the race scenario, but... Um, you know, first priority is obviously win, so we're going to do everything to set up so I'm in the best position to win. Do you feel like you're peaking at the right time for this? Absolutely, yeah. I feel like I'm stronger, faster, and um, this season has just been a really, really good training block for me, and I feel like, you know, I'm ready to run with the best, so I feel like I'm coming in the most prepared I've ever been. Do you feel that you're the favorite? I do, yeah. I mean... I'm not going to let that get to my head because rankings or favorites are arbitrary when the race starts, but um, I know I have all the tools, and I can just use that as kind of confidence that I can run if it's fast-paced, if it's going to turn into sit and kick. I can handle both scenarios, and I you know I can come on top of most scenarios. You've, uh, I mean, you've been good for a few years now, but this year has clearly been your best. Sure. Uh, do you think that's just you know, building natural progression, or is that something different that you've had? No, I think it's totally natural progression. I mean, I've been lucky that every year in my college, so far, like college career so far, is I've taken a step every season. Um, and this year especially, you know, I'm finally to the point where I'm matured enough and can you know, mentally and physically, I guess, to make sure the training's on point and extract the maximum, you know, quality out of this season, you know, limited window we have. And, uh, you know, I don't think I've come close to what my potential is. So, you know, it's just exciting to know that I can keep on building on it. I've seen a few articles about, you know, the fall from last year. Is that, does that mean you mind at all when you come into this race, or is it just like, have you forgotten about it? I use that prelim there to erase any doubts or, uh, you know, I guess you could say, like, fears I had about the barrier. You know, I felt like I was very clean in there. All my approaches were great. Uh, my hurdles were good. And, you know, I know that, yes, that happened last year, but it was kind of just something I couldn't prepare for. It wasn't anything that I did wrong. That's, well, I said I would not have liked to fall on. But it was just one of those things. It's the nature of the steeple. There's always a risk involved. And uh, so I'm not going to let that weigh me down or get in my mind. You know, I feel like I can compartmentalize what happened and really just do what I do best. On Friday. Was that the first time you had fallen on a barrier? In a race? Uh, I my freshman retro freshman year actually fell over the last water pit at Big Tens and lost the title there. But um, no, that was definitely the worst fall I've ever had. <laughs> I mean, that was a classic fail video. Yeah. Sorry to bring it up again. No, no, it's okay. I got a great sense of humor about it now. Like, I think talking about it has made me stronger as a person, an athlete. Um, you know, it's great to have a sense of humor about something that was really disappointing at the time. And, uh, yeah, I think it's kind of a defining part of my college career. <laughs> All right, well, nice job and a good luck. Thank you.